I've been out of school for a long time, but every once in a while I have this dream that I showed up to school and had completely forgotten to study for an exam. There's always this ridiculous relief when I wake up and remember that I'm not actually in school anymore. When we think about a test, we naturally think about receiving a grade. A test grades us and responds with a score. A, A minus, B plus. We can even start to identify with these scores. GRE scores, SAT scores, an IQ score, even a performance review at work. You'll sometimes even hear adults still talking about how they were an A or a C student in school. It's easy to carry these ideas about tests and grades with us into our reading of scripture especially when we come to passages like Genesis chapter 22. Sometime later, God tested Abraham's faith. Take your son, your only son, yes, Isaac, whom you love so much, and go to the land of Moriah. Go and sacrifice him as a burnt offering on one of the mountains, which I will show you. That's startling to read, and it's hard to imagine a more difficult test. Abraham is about to be graded by God, like God is throwing down an exam to see just how much faith Abraham really has. God can seem distant, conniving, judgmental, but that misses something profound about God and about the purpose of these tests, our tests. God is not a professor trying to establish a class curve. He isn't a teacher trying to determine who was and wasn't paying attention during his last lecture. God's tests are not about earning a grade. They are about discovering what is most true about ourselves and about Him. Really, this is what all tests do. They reveal the truth, the truth of who we are and the truth of who God is. Abraham's test is actually the perfect example. Anyone who has followed God for very long knows that faith doesn't guarantee an easier life. If you read the Bible carefully, those who follow God often face significant challenges. Abraham was called to leave everything that he knew and to follow God into a new land. Abraham waited for decades for a child, even into old age, holding on to the promise that God had given him for a son. And now Abraham faced the prospect of sacrificing that very promise. Abraham's faith through these tests was not about earning a grade. These tests reveal that Abraham's faith was genuine and that God was just as faithful in walking with him. It's so easy to convince ourselves that we have our Christian act together. It's easy to imagine that we would do anything for God, go anywhere, sacrifice anything, but when we face a real test, something happens. We're forced to recognize and to take inventory of where we really are, of who we really are. We're forced out of the abstractions and into the reality of God and our true dependence on Him. God's tests create the space for faith and grace and truth. Maybe the thing that is most amazing is not just Abraham's willingness to make that sacrifice, but that ultimately, God would intervene and halt the test. Just as Abraham was about to make the sacrifice, an angel appeared and stopped Abraham's hand. Suddenly, Abraham discovered a ram which would be sacrificed in Isaac's place. Abraham named the place, on the mountain of the Lord, it will be provided. This test, this sacrifice, the one Abraham by faith was willing to make would not ultimately be his test to pass. God would one day make a sacrifice even greater than Abraham's. God would one day sacrifice his own son. God would take up Abraham's test. And so too, every test we face is both ours, but also we discover God's. He is with us. On the mountain of the Lord, it will be provided. What we discover in these tests of life is not just the quality of our own faith. We discover the faithfulness of our God.
the author of the New Testament book of Hebrews describes Jesus as the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. These tests are not just about determination or inner strength. Every test is an opportunity to have more of our faith perfected by Jesus Christ. So we listen. When we face challenges, when we face loss, when we face pain, when we struggle to understand, when we're called to things which leave us feeling completely inadequate, we listen, we pray, we humble ourselves, and we turn to his word to discover this great cloud of witnesses, men and women like Abraham, who know what it is to be tested too. And in the midst of these tests, we find something far more valuable than a grade. We find the one who strengthens us and gifts us with the faith we need to make it through. So, we listen.